So if you're like me, usually you're not going to use an entire uh, tube of caulk or silicone for a project. So you want to make sure that you can preserve it for the future, for the next time you need it, or for a quick fix. I've tried different applications out there that are supposed to, to help you in terms of caps and things like that. Um, but when you can get one that, that has a reusable cap on it, uh, like this one here, uh, it, it does a pretty decent job, but even that's not 100% uh, safe or, or proof, foolproof, you could say. So a, a quick, uh, easy tip that I found uh, when I'm trying to, to save a bottle or a, a tube of silicone or caulk. So I'll take a screw and uh, preferably on that screw, you want it to be about the size of the hole that you've cut, if not slightly larger. And you want it to go pretty far down the tube. Uh, you know, this one goes down to at least here. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So one, by putting it down that far, it's in there good. But also, um, you're able to create a better seal. Uh, and then once you put it in there, then up here at the top, I actually take some silicone or some <clears throat> the caulk, whatever it may be, and dab some around the screw and the nozzle itself. What that's going to do is that's going to dry out first, and that's going to create some sort of a seal up there. Even if it doesn't seal at 100%, by putting that screw down most of the way through the nozzle, then what you've done is when you remove that, even if you have some dry silicone or caulk on the outside of that nozzle, you've left a passageway or a hole for the remaining caulk or silicone to exit once you do use it. Um, so once again, not 100% foolproof, but I found that uh, this, uh, this works quite well if you're just looking for a quick way to preserve a, a tube of silicone or caulk in the future. Uh, so once again, key points, get a long, long screw, screw that's at least the size of the hole, maybe slightly larger, not, not too large. You don't want to split the nozzle. Once you get it down there a good ways, still leave some of the screw, but then seal it with some caulk or the silicone that you're using. And then uh, you should be good to go the next time you need it. Take care.